So, let's get into the Fresh and Fit and Abba and Preach drama. So, last week, Monday, we were, I'm reluctant to use the word blessed, but Hmm. (laughs) we were brought some entertainment that was this clip. This is what started it all. This is what started the, the, I guess, the snowball. So, Auburn Preach released this video right here, which was Fresh and Fit are capping hard. We debated on legalizing selling Poom Poom. Big captivity. Big. So, I'm going to get to the... I don't want to watch the whole clip. I just want to get to the, the egregious part, which was, I think, the the front of the, uh, the little clip of this video, which is Fresh saying some stupid shit. So, let me... I think it's right here. And then, let's start it right here. Oh, let me turn up the audio. How did look at these guys that are paying... It's different what what it's telling you in person because they look at you as okay, he's paying a need that I have, but I don't respect him. And for me, I don't want a bitch's pussy, I want her soul. Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) That's Hmm. all I wanted that right there. Hmm. I don't want her I don't want her poom. I want her soul. Boss man. He know that when I see that, when I heard that, I was like, he get bitches. He understands. He understands. That right there. Is an icon. That's who I want to be like when I grow up. I don't want to idolize. I want to take role her model? soul. Yes, a guy named Fresh who I've never seen in any type of fresh clothing is the guy I want to be my idol. Lame ass nigga. Continue, please. No, that because that, that's so obviously this first clip was they talk about um, uh, Abba being in the studios with Fresh and Fit, and then this particular. Uh, t- t- uh, segment of the com- I think it was an hour two hour long conversation of that conversation they were talking about selling the uh, the, the pom pom and obviously Fresh was like I don't get why guys do that that's not a good that's not something you should do Fresh because- looked like a John and if you it, 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 what do you mean he looks like a John a John is a guy who pays for for sex oh I've never heard that before yeah that's the uh, I don't know the, the, the law term sure the, the, yeah the police call the person a John oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so That's news. Fresh looked like a John. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's an like, industry term. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he looks like a nigga who pays for pussy. Like, <laughs> look at him. He doesn't like. He's not fit. He's not. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk bad about it. I apologize. That's not even. That's not even with the pork purpose of all of this. It's just wild to see somebody say something that makes absolutely no sense. But then it's like, okay, let me say a logical statement now. Let me reverse engineer this lo- illogical statement and try and add logic going backwards. Like, oh, I don't want her pussy. I want her soul. Why do you want her soul? Because it's about respect. You know, it's really about respect. When we're t- when it boils no, down to that was it, another part. I, re- I don't know what I don't know where it is. I don't want to take the time to find. I should wrote it down before we started. But then he says how um, girls respect him. Like, oh, like he like he wants respect from girls and all girls respect him and Abba presses him. Like, all, all, every girl, every girl, every girl he's ever interacted him. with, he says he says him. He says yes. yes. And it's like, but, but hey, hey. I'll like, tell that, you right now. That type me, of confidence? That's Ooh. not true. Ooh, that type of confidence. I could tell you at least two girls in the past month that probably ain't got nice things to say to me, about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can name a few also. Like, so it's like, it's, what? And it's not even about sex. It's not about nothing. It's not about like relationships. Just platonic friends. Well, let's keep it to what they're about. Fresh and Fit specifically are about sex, about dating. Their, okay. their, whole, their whole facade is about getting guys laid. Screw the facade about them. We make guys better with their finances and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, you're, you're getting guys laid. That's your whole thing. Yo, you know who thing. Fresh remind me of? He remind me of... I don't want to say his name. Back in the day. You know yeah, that yeah. one guy, yeah, yeah, that yeah. one guy in the group who's like, yeah, yeah, pussy, All vagina, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I get some of that. Then you find out mm-hmm. that, uh, no. he's not been doing any of the things he's saying. Yeah. Like, first off, he the one who brought up. Anyway, I know you're gonna bring up the boxing and the man and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is like we'll I said, get to this, it. This is the, what started all. This is what started all, which was Ivan Preach reacting to some of the fakeness but, but, of but, Fresh and Fit. The irritation from Abba and Preach. Well, I believe I could just speak for myself. My irritation with that guy's that guy's stance on things is, you're you're paying for sex, not respect. And so his whole argument was based off of if you're paying for the poom poom, you're not getting respect, and the girl is just she doesn't value you. She just values your money. 
but the whole purpose of the interaction is the money. Because he then also makes it's the argument contradicting that within itself. Sex, paying for sex, and then I guess genuine sex, sex is different. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you're. The whole premise is paying for the sex. If you're going there with the idea of paying for the sex, you're paying for the sex. If you want somebody that's going to sell respect, you better find a bitch selling respect then, because <laughs> you're <luck>. paying. <laughs> you're paying for sex. So now, not only are you. He's saying the reason he wouldn't have he wouldn't pay for sex because he wants respect. So the woman that you're fucking or whatever, whatever, for whatever, whatever reason, how they do you know she respect you? Like that's like, what I was trying to it make. Doesn't, he, it that's doesn't, why I asked the question. Like all the women you've had sex with respect you? He's like, yeah. All the women who you no, fuck but, respect but, you. And then the other side oh, of that yeah. is I if I pay for sex, his real point of view is if I pay for sex, I want the bitch to respect me. I want her soul. What type of narcissism do you have in your head that after the sex that you've already paid for, you need some respect? That's not all I paid for. I want some goddamn respect. Yeah, it begs the question, like, how much are you paying, bro? Right, like, hey, what are you... <laughs> anyway. Like, no, no. Cap- high, high captivity. All right, let's move on to the second part, which is... So, mind you, this is not... I don't think this is all in order, but I'm going to do my best to keep it as in order as I possibly can. But once they came out with that clip, it triggered Fresh and Fit. Mainly Myron. Myron apparently got freaking triggered. And I think this might be the beginning of that because... Here, let's... Yeah, here. Better than you niggas. Period. <laughs> Myron's screaming. I want to hear the full rant. Let's. I want to hear the full rant where Myron's just screaming, saying how we're better than you guys. We get more views than you. It's like, really, dude? Like, that's... That's... Ah. He sounds like a 14-year-old, man. Dude. And then... and then, ah, It's just bad. Let me fast forward to where they get to the clip. Because I, I tried to find this originally so I could copy it, but I think they deleted it. For, rightly so, because they sound like a bunch of... Idiots. It's like, what are you... It ended, this ended up losing them how many f- subscribers? They're, they're at 50K so far lost. I think it's more than that. They're, well, they're at 388. They're a little bit over 50K because okay. they're at 347. So here we go. Yeah, you guys, you guys Meanwhile, Abba and Preach has gone up 100K. Uh, Abba and Preach decided to make a video uh, talking smack out of nowhere, out of left field, and, uh, and it's funny about capping and, and paying for box. And I was like... Didn't we talk about this several months ago? Like, why are you guys bringing this up, like, now? Like, what the hell? We're trending, man. Yeah. The only reason we brought it up later... Yeah, we know. We want to hear the full reaction. There's a lot. We're trending, man. Yeah. We're talking right now. But then I did, as always, men lie, women lie, numbers don't, right? And then I thought to myself, why would they bring this up now? Ah, (laughs) fuck YouTube freaking ads. You know what the, the, the fresh and fit are? And... It's a... It's a... You know, in in soccer... When you play for the other leagues, the well-respected leagues in the world, <coughs> you pay your dues, you work hard, you become a legend. Let's say you become a high-value player. Then you get old. And when you get old, you come to America to play. Come to the MLS. And now, all of a sudden, you have a second win in your career because you're a lot better than most of the American talent. You're a lot bigger or stronger or faster, just more well-prepared or whatever than the American talent in soccer. Agile technique, and so, whatever, yeah. Yeah, so w- when I see these two, they're, they're only allowed to exist because they are the most boisterous about what they're doing. I don't know if it's Bush. I think they're the only ones doing what they're doing. Like the, they're, they're a big fish in a small ex- pond is basically what I'm trying to say. And the small pond is the manosphere. I'm very the reluctant to ex- that, associate them as big they fish. They are. They are. We can say whatever they want. Their views say otherwise. And I'm talking about as far fair. as the... Okay, okay. I'm so in the, in the okay. manosphere, I just feel like they're, 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 just, they're just taking advantage. Like they're not... In five years in the manosphere, and I'm saying that with quotation marks, I feel, I feel like it's the dumbest shit to say, but... I feel like when something new is introduced, we always get the extremes first. And I feel like it was really a, a breath of fresh air. Albert and Preacher are a breath of fresh air because the initiation into that type of thinking or viewing that type of thinking was a little bit more humble with them, a little bit more uh, I would say genuine. Genuine, okay. Albert and Preacher are genuine personalities. This is an extreme. 
these people represent an extreme. They represent a uh, uh, Takashi Six Nine in rap. They I represent the uh, extreme, but I say it more accurate would be a, um, they're trying so hard to live up to a self made image. This is not who Myron is, and this is not who what is it? What is his name? Wilson is Takashi Six Nine of the podcast. Oh, sh- Boom. Okay, so like they're not bloods. They're not. They're not real gangsters. Like Takashi wasn't a real. Yeah, we're gonna gangster. get to how they're not gangsters. There's more to. Hold you know on, we're, we just started. Like, hold on. And so, like, they just they faking it till they they faking it till they try and make it, and they they they're making it. But now, after the money and the success, you really can gauge somebody. And now they're being gauged by their peers, their real peers who got there being themselves. Mm-hmm. This isn't the first podcast. They actually had a, a rebuttal against a. Uh, there's a podcast, uh, a channel called Playback, where it's like an Ethiopian guy. You seen? It. I sent up, put a video in the chat. They went off on them first. Fat, you fat fuck, you da 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 da, useless, you look blah, 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 just name calling and blah, blah, blah. and all they did was react to Fresh's story about the basketball player. Yes, dude, that was so funny. Man, these these so two are funny. rubbish human beings. Continue. Because they're, I said when I first started watching them. I said it. These are they're just too fake. The content is good. They're only ones out there doing what they're doing. The problem is they're the wrong guys doing it because fresh and they said this on a previous one of their one of their podcasts. I think it was the one with the roommates where they had that Israel girl on there, which I think the Israel girl asked both of them, "What was your motivation, inspiration, like goal or whatever when it came to this platform, this podcast? Like what do you want out of this?" And I don't know if Myron said this, but I remember Fresh specifically. He said to get girls, to get laid. And I it was just like, wow, that it just it just told me all I needed to know. And that once it, everything up like when this happened, it made sense to me. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all that this was how Myron and Fresh reacted, because this is who they really are. We've been waiting to see it too. People have been waiting to see it. It's, it's somehow like for the for the for the response to be this big against them, it obviously shows a lot of people have been waiting to see them reveal themselves. It's, there you go. I well, say, wait, go on, Doc. I think it's because they're the show that's like the the spectacle of this manosphere and stuff like that. And so everybody kind of watches them to see the entertainment that is the spectacle. And now that they're actually at the center, they themselves, not the, the whole like female argument, is the center of the spectacle – they're taking issue with it. Whereas Abbott and Preach were more so just like commentary, but I also think they themselves started to adopt the whole spectacle aspect because they've started doing the whole live stream stories. On Instagram, then, yeah. Yeah, and then they react to like real conversations with people that they've had and stuff like that, which I think is a little weird. I don't know if the person like knows that they're going on to this thing to be later like postscript like insulted or just analyzed. Critiqued. Yeah, yeah and, and picked apart piece by piece. Like, I was wondering why they didn't make their statements uh, so aggressively like they do in their podcast while they were actually on the podcast. I was like, why did you wait to do it then to do it back there? Like, I actually do think Fresh and Fit had a point with that, but the counter from Fresh and Fit was completely, uh, like, irreprehensible. It was just, like, way too much. Like, why... Why would you insult somebody personally? And you can, oh, we'll get to the insult. Issue. Yeah, they haven't. Per- yeah. yeah, we haven't gotten to that part yet. But yeah, they take it too far. We haven't gotten and to the line that was crossed yet. But and you can, you I can, think that's what they're about to do, though. No, no it's not. It's not here. It. It's on the next. It's one. on the other one. Yeah, but, but here, let's I, finish this clip real quick and then share go it. Go for it. Now, uh, Chris, can you show Exhibit A real fast? Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, they got. Let's see. These guys have almost a million more subs than us, guys. All right. So we're the blue line. We're the blue line. The other way. I feel like he pushes up his glasses every 10 seconds. Dude, this is petty. Petty. Literally like one, less than one third of their joint, right? And we got 20 million views and they got 14.9 million views. Ouch. Hmm. Very interesting for you guys to go ahead and make a video insulting us months after the fact. I wonder why. This is normal playback speed, by the way. This is how fast Myron talks. No, I... Think that uh, Abba and Priest, oh, they, they, they sped it up so they couldn't. Uh, okay, they sped it up. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. why I say because you have he's to speed it up for licensing. Fast. Gotcha. Okay, and then let me continue. The- we're better than yours. We get more views than you. We've been on less than you. We work harder than y'all niggas. We cut our hair more than you niggas. Like yo, if y'all cut, we niggas, cut our hair we more than you. Really look at this nigga, dog. This nigga look like an ant. Right to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. 
And them niggas talking shit. And all these niggas are 40 years old? Yo, yo, all ass niggas too, bro. Like, yo, bro. I wasn't gonna do this. Wait, the, the, the hands Man, these are some real, 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 real lame-ass niggas, Dude, these are some childish, bro. What are we, what are we middle school? Yo, High school? Myron's supposed to be 30 old. years old. My man, Abba, looks like he got off a camel. Hasn't cut his hair in years. <laughs> Dusty as fuck. Look at this nigga. Look at this that nigga fresh finna run out of fake laughs soon. For real though, his laugh is so fake. Now, what anime did you come from? Man, these niggas is real deal lame. What about this week? What happened this week? I know, dude. This is so funny to look back. Like that, ah, dude. Like that was so hard to watch because it was so cringy. It was so cringy. What? Like you didn't even attack his points. You started to attack him. Like that's how you know you're in the wrong when you can't even attack what he said about you. You attack him as a person because everything he said about y'all wasn't wrong. Like in my opinion, at least I don't know if y'all agree. Or not. I mean, I think you guys do honestly, but you guys, if you guys agree, let us know. But. I don't think Auburn Peaks were wrong about Fresh and Fit. And this the is, fact that when they heard it, the rebuttal wasn't to dispute what they said. They instead attacked them as individuals. They lost. They it was a they lost right then and there. And it yeah, revealed sure. just how <laughs> I saw one reaction, uh, and it actually had a girl like who was part of the podcast, and she was like, That's such a feminine energy to be like, Well, we're hotter than you. Like, what the fuck? Dude, that's exactly what that is. This nigga fresh look like a mole come to life. His face look like melted chocolate ice cream. I don't know why these niggas would try and attack somebody's look. L- look. Look. Look at them. Look at them talking about somebody else's look. Look at them. All right, here, let's finish this, and let's go to the next part of it. Niggas with the same tired back on, same fucking million fights. We got two. Uh, Facebook <laughs> <laughs> Freaking ads bro. Oh that's an ad though <laughs> For your ass <laughs> right, Woo yeah. Two thousand dollar plaques now And we're gonna get a million plaques And we're gonna get the other channel Another mil- to a million as well And Fresh is gonna hit a hundred thousand But We Are So Fresh don't look like a mole We with a face. Are better than you here, man. And we don't pay for boxes <laughs> And we don't pay for boxes Yo <laughs> So let me tell you something You know what <laughs> You know when somebody, oh, you know wow. when somebody ain't been punched in their face before. I really get that energy from Fresh because he brought up. I mean, I'm ready to talk about the boxing, Gene. He brought up the boxing. Fresh is the one who brought up the boxing. No, let's get let's that's next after this because I mean it's part of this, so we'll get let's get to it then. So then they finally had a show. I think that same night or the following night, and they said this about. Um, Preach nigga fresh like a about seal. Preach and preach is so let me. Start. No, the boxing came right before this because at the end of the video that you were just showing. Well, it's it's part of it. But he challenges him for the boxing. Well, I I don't have that clip. I don't I don't. Is it? Did they challenge him here for the boxing? And he, I don't. Where where do they challenge him for the boxing? Yeah yeah. He goes back and he cuts back into it and then the. Is the it right here? You want a box? He was feeling yeah. himself too. <laughs> is it right here? Don't they be drinking fresh and fit for their show? I don't think they drink for their show. If they do, I know they afterwards. offer drinks for the girls. They do offer drinks. That is the fact. They do offer drinks. Well, we, we don't have to like go actually go to the scene. We can just kind of skim over it. So okay. essentially, at the the end of the video, you just heard of Myron popping off. Fresh kind of you know lackeys him and goons out and is like yeah yeah and we will box it too <laughs> and then we'll freaking preach. Look, you can even see Preach's face. Preach actually accepts the challenge. That's a free kill. That's a free <laughs> kill. Like you know how excited Preach probably was. He was like, I hope he say box. He probably said, oh, please say fight me. Just say it. Well, I beg you to say it. That's my favorite part, man, when he's just like, you've been there. You know the address. Tell me. I'll go. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, oh, that was okay. funny. You have the address? <laughs> okay, I'm okay. there. Okay. Set yeah. it up. You want this kind of gloves or these kind of gloves? <laughs> no, I, yeah, it's just funny. homie had to do a whole bunch of reevaluating. I mean, to be honest with you, I guess, as our topic, are we just are we just reviewing the beef or do we like, their channel suffering. Well, so what do we take from this? I just, so I just wanted for the people who haven't seen 
They, you can take the time to go um, look at all of it. I just wanted to get a small little like snippet of everything to back up all of because I do want to get into it. Like we kind of got into a little bit about what we think of Auburn Preach, what we think of Fresh and Fit. If our Auburn Preach justified right, are they wrong? Did Fresh and Fit overreact? Did they not overreact? Are are they going to? Are they right in the things they said? Are they wrong in the things they said? Like that's what I wanted to eventually get to. But we kind of like my question is: Do you think Fresh and Fit are? are giving themselves excuses between the two of them? Or do you think they're having real moments right now? What do you as mean? In, as in, like, we're losing followers. We're losing subscribers. Like, a lot of their... I think their, it was an echo their channel chamber is until very, they started losing followers. That's what I'm saying. So do you think they're... they're do you think they're... They're applying it to, oh, those are just diehard Abba and Preach fans? Or do you think they're actually taking a moment to look at what they've done? I think at first... It was probably a bunch of Auburn Preach fans. And then once the number got into a significant number, instead of – the graph was doing this for their growth, right? They were even saying, like, we're, we're growing. We're growing. They really were. Like, nine months, wherever span they said they were that, they were growing. And not only that, they're and the then, most – they they press for money the most. Yeah, the, the Instagram uh, – uh, like everything they do is asking uh, for money. School or whatever they have will teach you how to grow your Instagram account. The girls, the, your finances and all that. It's like – I really feel bad for the guys that pay for that stuff. I don't like guys. Forgive me if you have bought that and stuff, but like, I don't know why you would trust wow. these guys. You know what's crazy? To teach you how to do that stuff, and if they really did help you, because that's what that's where this particular clip came from. This one right here, because this guy, apparently, like he claims that he's a loyal supporter of Fresh and Fit because they helped change his life, and because they helped change his life, he's like trying to defend them, and it's kind of like. Really, bro? Well, me, and his, and I've ended up calling on having to talk with this dude because it's like, bro, you are like. Hold on. So, question then: the audience that the Manosphere is supposed to be bringing up is the men that lack self confidence, the men sure, okay, that I, feel I that. feel stuff's just not fair for men. Blah blah blah. Or but if, they're, not, they're 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 talking. Not that it's fair, but they're um, talking. They're speaking up for men's that, exa- rights. Right. Sure, but yeah. they're talking. To, they bring girls on their show, right? That's your fit, yeah. They bring girls on their show and say, "Oh, you guys are just using the men for the money." That's essentially their platform. You're you guys have no goals or no value. You're using the men that you're interacting with for money. How do you find that sustainable? It's essentially most of the, the girls that they bring on to joke about or talk down on. They're competing for the same men as the girls. The girls who sell OnlyFans and Fresh and Fit are competing for the same men. I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Yeah, That's yeah, wild. About that. The audience they're supposed to be helping, they're really just trying to steal from of, only yeah. from, from the women. Their insecurities. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Because I said this before. I don't think I said it on the podcast, but in our discussions, I said it before. I really do think Fresh and Fit are actually breeding toxic masculinity. 100%. 100%. That's my question. Like, what what do you all feel about the representation of masculinity within the manosphere, given the differences between ABBA and Preach and Fresh and Fit? Obviously, ABBA and Preach are a better example because even if you agree or disagree with their opinions, they are who they are, and you can feel that from them. 100%. Like you just, I don't, I don't know how to. Descri- I could be weird saying this, but just watching them and listening to them express themselves, you just get this sense of genuineness. Like they are who they are. They're not faking anything. How they feel is how they feel. Whether or not you agree with them or don't, this is what they think, and this is what their opinion are. But when it comes to Fresh and Fit. You can, you at least to me, you can clearly tell it's a facade. Cap. C- Cap. You can clearly tell it's a facade. It's an image. They built, for example, with Fresh. Fresh built himself. Wilson Fresh built himself. Fresh escaped the tunnel where the Ninja Turtles was made and came to Earth and decided to do this bullshit. I'm telling you, both of these niggas is lame ass niggas. They've been this shit. They hold. You can tell. You can just tell. And this is not something to brag. I'm really not trying to brag when I say this, but I'm pretty sure I've been with more girls than Fresh had. But I don't feel the need to advocate my success with women like Fresh does. That's not a high tier man to me. I'm a born again virgin. I don't think none of this shit is cool. I exactly. I really don't. Hmm. I I'm a, I'm with you there. I don't think that's cool. I don't think none of that shit they got going on is cool. I don't think the bit the type of bitches they invite to their show is is 
there's no real conversation being had. I don't think the channel is actually. Um, I think it's it's pseudo helpful. It's like a, a, a. It's a good start, but then it hit a wall, yeah, and they do not want to leave that wall. It's a. Well, it's I think a, the, break down the wall. It's a. I think I'll the, put you the on the catch right. To uh, fresh and fit is for one the spectacle, and two is that it defines the target. Like immediately, you're like, well, it's them, and that's the problem. And it, so it, if I make more on, money and I do don't care about them. Women. Well, it draws oh, okay. a target on women, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. So it's just like, it's not you, it's them. They're the reason why they, they're, they're the leeches. They're the, the ones who are trying to get you. All you have to do is coddle your money and build yourself up, and then you can manipulate them, and they can't manipulate you. Or and, have power over them. But the thing, is, the thing is, too, yeah. at the core of their channel, the biggest insecurity is they equate disrespecting women to being an actual man, like uh, or, or taking taking your rights back or standing up for yourself, disrespecting women and standing up for yourself or not being taken advantage no, no, no. of are two different things. No, let me hold on. I don't think they think disrespecting women is them taking their power. I think they're confusing taking your power back for disrespecting women. Because if, if you told Myron that what he's doing is... You just is said the same thing I said. I know, I reversed it. <laughs> okay. But I, no, because if you were to tell Myron what he's doing is what he's doing is trying to disrespect women and take his power back... He would say no. He would say no. Yeah. But we, we, what he would say to you is what I'm doing is taking my power back. But how he's taking his power back is by disrespecting But you're women. speaking on his perspective versus what's actually going on. Because that's what I want to tackle. His, okay, go but on. But you see, my yeah, point yeah, was yeah, 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 that's what's actually going on, yes, though. Uh, yeah. is he's, yeah, he, yeah. Th- and he's telling them, he's telling the, the men, and at this point, he's telling a whole bunch of beta males that y'all should, like, oh, if, you, if a girl wants any money from you or if any type of, and I'm not saying, you know, that's good or bad, but if any, if you feel... Your finances being attacked by any woman, any person of feminine mystique, then the way to handle it is this. And if you handle it this way, then you, therefore, are by definition an alpha male. Like you are a, uh, you are the the image that they try to preach that they are, but they're not because one has a secret arrangements account, so he's actually either a sugar baby or a sugar daddy. And the sure, other yeah. one, yeah, yeah. the other one, DMs a hundred women a day. So, uh, <laughs> and the, no, even another. One, I think it was Myron. I don't, don't know which one it was. I think it was this one. Myron even told one of the girls in in the past that to be on his podcast, she had to have sex with him. Mm-hmm. That's I would argue that's not an alpha man move, nor is that a high value man move. That's a like, Weinstein move. That's an Epstein move. <laughs> Like it is. Wh- it is. That's just weird. So real quick, guys, to finish it up, let's react real quick to them going off on preach, which was so disrespectful. Like you just don't do this. Same evening, real quick, guys. Okay, because uh, I know this is probably on everyone's minds. We already got six thousand plus live viewers. So thank you so much for coming in. Mm-hmm. Only uh, four minutes. Yeah. Only How does the fresh you always wear t-shirts? Minutes, we'll go, Man. Real fast. <laughs> on this podcast, we talk about accountability. Okay. Yeah. And. We are not above taking accountability. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, we made a mistake. Okay? It is not cool to insult a man's country. <laughs> Fluke and fraud. <laughs> live on air. We should have kept the disagreement on the topic and not the people. Yep. Okay? Smart people discuss ideas. Stupid people discuss people. And we made a mistake. All right? So with that said, we apologize, okay, for talking about his wife, his country, and making ad hominem attacks on them. They're fellow YouTubers. If we have disagreements, we're going to have disagreements. But the way we went about it was not right. Okay? Yeah. So we got to hold ourselves accountable as well. And from this point forward, we're bearing the hatchet. We wish the best sovereign breach. Yeah, the best, man. We're going to keep making content, giving you guys what you want, and we're going to stay away from the drama. That being said, the boxing, you got our number. Hit us up on the side. You know where we're at. We're in Miami, so let's do it. Yeah. Lies. The, and back to, like you said, the boxing. Like, man. I think this is when they actually went off. Let's see if this is what it is. The wife is probably ugly. Yeah, here you go. The wife is actually ugly. Yo, we gave her a ring pop and you licked her at your fucking wedding. We should, we should fly her up, bro. Weirdo. Hey, yo. We should fly her up. Guaranteed. <laughs> Flew <it> out. <laughs> you may guess the bride. This dumbass nigga. I love you. I love you. Dude, how old are you? None of the bitches is laughing. And, a, and another freaking ad. First off, this nigga named Myron. with their ads. 
dude my thing is like with their their <laughs> concept of, i i think the concept of their show is to touch the the idea of masculine self-respect that's not masculine think, self-respect though dude well let me, let me finish the, okay, i think that bad, the way bad. that they are engaging it though is in an offensive way as opposed to like just like a a centered like or maybe even defensive way like like just being like confident and competent in your masculinity and who you are and stuff like that and having self-respect but i think to them is like i need to get ahead of any kind of attack that could happen so they have a very offensive approach to it and so i think that's why they go into the, this whole like uh, we can put the woman down first and put her in her place before she can lash out at us and, and then i can protect essentially my my self-respect and my ego as a, as a man i think they that's they, weird. they are flipping self-respect into ego and it's coming out mm. i think they lame ass niggas and so yeah that's the attack on we we don't need to get, we don't need to get more into it i actually think too like they completely defeated the whole concept of masculinity when they didn't take up the boxing mm-hmm. like to me if you're in the manosphere like, that is some Spartan shit where you're just like, all right, he's coming at me. Like, we're going. And, like, even little boys do that where you just, you go at it and then, fuck it, you don't know. Sometimes you end up best friends afterwards. And so for them to not actually go through with the challenge was when I was just like, damn, y'all aren't, like, y'all aren't projecting energy of masculinity to me you're right because like, it's, it's something about that convert that confrontation among men that unites us and the weird thing is it's not you don't even have to actually i will argue in a situation for me you don't even have to go all the way to fight the person because back in a long time ago there was this guy who wanted to fight me remember pedro oh. and he said he got someone to come to me and tell me meet me in the bathroom we're gonna fight I didn't even know why this guy wanted to fight me. And I told him, tell him, I'm not going to fight him because I don't dislike him. I have no reason to fight him. Why would I fight him? I'm not going to fight him just to fight him. And Pedro ended up being like, oh, you're a cool-ass dude. We ended up becoming really good friends after that. <laughs> like We was in a restroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> Meet me in the restroom, now we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> slash becoming besties we're going to it Why? yeah it's, 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 but it's just that confrontation like i re- i responded to his pro- provocation and i'm saying that right Prov- provocation provoke whatever provocation yeah thank you provocation with a genuine response which is dude i don't I'm, i don't have any animosity towards you i don't dislike you like i'm not gonna fight you because like there's no why would i do that that makes no sense to me and he was and i feel like that made him think like why do i want to fight him couldn't find a reason couldn't find a reason and we didn't fight we ended up becoming friends that's why. Yeah, there's the, also that, some feminine ass shit to do because let me tell you something. What do you mean? F- and I'm gonna tell you. You ever been all right, And I don't mean to. I'm not applying this to women. I'm just saying literal feminine. Like, Soft they moved the goalpost. So they had their point. They re- they replied angrily and were rude or whatever the fuck it was. Now it's oh we move on. We're gonna bury the hatchet. We're gonna be the bigger men. We're gonna be. The, we're not we're trying gonna, to engage in this drama. It's not what we're about. Yeah, drama, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. But y'all done pissed this man off. Yeah. Y'all, y'all started this. this yeah. <laughs> now he wanna. Now he want the one. But y- you don't want to shoot the one. Now you are talking about five hundred k? Come on, son. Yeah, we got the DM pulled Egregious. up right here. How you wanted to box Egregious. preach? We'll be there next week. Since you offered, he'll see you there. Five hundred thousand on air. Let's go. Dope. Set up gym and boxing gloves. We'll post it on YouTube, and we'll and uh, that we're doing that we're doing it. We can be there on the twenty fourth or the twenty fifth. Tomorrow's yeah, twenty fourth. I feel like they, uh, I, like I don't think they would have killed each other, man, or anything like that. Nah. I think they would have just yeah. like gotten into it and been like, "All right, like I have to own up to this. Like I challenged you, and I need to actually go through with it because Fresh was the one who put forth the challenge. If you put the challenge forward, and you're the one being the aggressor if they accept you can't back out like to me that's just the weakest thing like if the other guy doesn't want to fight and you're challenging depending on the situation i'd be like dude yeah chill out like we're not actually trying to do that you weren't like you're off base whatever but if you're being the aggressor and the other person challenges and then you go oh no 
nah, nah, I'm actually not about it. Then it's just the worst thing you could have done, dude. Like they're empowering incels. That no, is yeah. the that is the least alpha. If your entire platform is alpha, that is the least alpha on the biological level. All this stuff they talk about how female biology dictates all of these actions and how male biology dictates all of these reactions or inactions or even like aggressive actions on a biological level you putting forth the challenge and then bitching out when the other one steps up is the least alpha thing you could do yo you made it to the end really appreciate it thanks for watching fake deep thinking uh if you like the show remember to like comment subscribe and to share really appreciate everything and appreciate you so take it easy peace peace have a good day